what did we learn in the previous session we learned what are common factors and multiples and how to find them today we will solve the problems of exercise 3.4 but before we do that let's understand a few general rules of divisibility let's see what are they rule 1 if a number is divisible by another number then it's divisible by each of the factors of that number let's understand this point by taking this example we know that 72 is divisible by 6 6 12 times is 72 and what are the factors of 6 they are 2 and 3 isn't it to find 6 if we multiply 2 and 3 we find 6 so 2 and 3 are the factors of 6 so according to this rule the number 72 since it is divisible by 6 it will be also divisible by 2 and 3 which are the factors of 6 so it is true 72 if divided by 2 it is exactly divisible by 2 we get 36 as the quotient and similarly 72 if we divide by 3 we get 24 as the quotient and the remainder is 0 so this number is completely div divisible by the factors of 6 that is 2 and 3 let's see what is the next rule if a number is divisible by two coprime numbers then it is divisible by their product also what are coprime numbers if two numbers have only one as the common factor then these numbers are known as the coprime numbers all right so uh, if a number is divisible by two coprime numbers then the product of the coprime numbers will also divide the number let's understand this by taking this example here we have a number 80 which is divisible by both 4 and 5 and 4 and 5 are coprimes because the common factor of 4 and 5 is 1 now what is the product of 4 and 5 the product of 4 and 5 is 20 and we can see that the number 80 is also divisible by 20 24 times is 80 so 80 is divisible by the product of 4 and 5 so this proves the rule now let's look at the next rule if two given numbers are divisible by a number then their sum is also divisible by that number for example we have two numbers 16 and 20 which are both divisible by 4 now if we find the sum of the numbers and try to divide the sum with the same number we can see that the number will be divisible by this uh, the sum will be divisible by the number so 16 and 20 both are divisible by 4 and what is the sum of 16 and 20 it is 36 and we know that 36 is divisible by 4 4 9 times is 36 hence since 16 uh, and 20 both are divisible by 4 then 36 that is their sum is also divisible by 4 let's see the next rule if two given numbers are divisible by a number then their difference is also divisible by that number so if there are two numbers like 16 and 20 both are divisible by 4 what is the difference the difference of uh, between uh, 20 and 16 it is 4 4 is also obviously it will be divisible by 4 so this proves the rule that 16 and 20 both are divisible by 4 then the difference will also div is divisible by 4 and this we can check by taking more examples so we have learned the rules general rules of divisibility now let's start solving the problems of exercise 3.4 
so what is the first question find the common factors of there are pairs of number uh, numbers given and we have to find the common factors of these numbers so what is the first one it is 20 and 28 we have to find the common factors of 20 and 28 and how do we do that first we write the all the factors of 20 and what are the factors of 20 they are 1 2 4 5 10 and 20 and what are the factors of 28 the factors of 28 are 1 2 4 7 14 and 28 now what are the common factors of these numbers 20 and 28 we can see since 1 2 and 4 1 2 and 4 are the factors of both these numbers we can say that 1 2 and 4 are the common factors of both the numbers 20 and 28 so the common factors of 20 and 28 are 1 2 and 4 now b uh, is a very simple problem you can solve it on your own try to solve it on your own we proceed to the next problem that is c 35 and 50 so we have to find the common factors of 35 and 50 for this first we write the factors of 35 what are the factors of 35 they are 1 5 7 and 35 and what are the factors of 50 the factors of 50 are 1 2 5 10 25 and 50 now what are the common factors of these two numbers we can see the common factors that means the factors which are common to both 35 and 50 uh, 50 are 1 are 1 5 1 and 5 only two factors are common between these numbers so the common factors of 35 and 50 are 1 and 5 now problem d 56 and 120 for this let's write the factors of 56 first so what are the factors of 56 they are 1 2 4 7 8 14 28 and 56 and what are the factors of 120 they are 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 10 12 15 20 24 30 40 60 and 120 the number itself now let us see what are the common factors of these numbers so what are the uh, factors that are appearing in both the uh, as the factors of both the numbers they are 1 2 4 isn't it and 8 so what are the common factors of 56 and 120 they are 1 2 4 and 8 now question number 2 find the common factors of 4 8 and 12 like we uh, found out the uh, common factors of two numbers here we have three numbers to find the factors of so what are the three numbers 4 8 and 12 so for this first we write the factors of 4 then the factors of 8 and then factors of 12 and find what are the common factors now uh, what are the factors of 4 they are 1 2 and 4 the, uh, number 4 will be exactly divisible by these three numbers and what are the factors of 8 1 2 4 and 8 8 will be exactly divisible by these numbers and what are the factors of 12 they are 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 these numbers will be able to divide 12 exactly now what are the common factors between these two numbers uh, these three numbers so what are the common factors uh, they are 1 1 2 and 
4. They are appearing as the factors of all the three numbers. So, these are the common factors. 1, 2 and 4 are the common factors of these two numbers, uh, these three numbers. Now, B, 5, 15 and 25. You have to find the common factors. So, let us write the factors of 5. Factors of 5 are 1 and 5. 5, 5 will be divisible by these two numbers only. It is a prime number, is not it? It has only 1 as the uh, 1 and the number itself as its factor. So, it is a prime number. Now, factors of 15, what are they? They are 1, 3, 5 and 15. And what are the factors of 25? They are 1, 5 and 25, the number itself. Now, can you see what are the common factors of these numbers? Yes, they are, the common factors are 1, and 5 since they are the factors of all the three numbers so they are the common factors so common factors of 5 and 25 are 1 and 5 question number 3 find first three common multiples of 6 and 8 now we have to find the multiples of the numbers and how many uh, we have to find we have to find the first three common multiples of the numbers. So, what do we do first? We write the multiples of the numbers and then we find the first three multiples which are common. So, let us do that. What are the multiples of 6? 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, 66, 72. Simply we go on writing the multiplication table of 6 and what are the multiples of 8? 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72 and so on. Now, can you see, can you check what are the common uh, multiples among them? Yes, the first multiple which is common to both these numbers 8 and uh, 6 and 8 are is 24. All right. And what is the next multiple that is common between these two numbers? That is 48. And the third multiple that is common to both these numbers is 72. So, the common multi, uh, first three common multiples of 6 and 8 are 24, 48 and 72. We can find more, but we are asked to write only first three. So, we are writing only first three multiples of seven, uh, 6 and 8. Let us see what is the next problem. So, problem B 12 and 18. We have to find the first three common multiples of 12 and 18. For this first we write the multiples of 12 and the multiples of 18 and then find the first three common multiples. So, what are the multiples of 12? They are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96, 108 and 120. Now, what are the multiples of 18? 18, 1 times is 18, 18, 2 times is 36, 18, 3 times is 54, 18, 4 times is 72, 18, 5 times is 90, 18, 6 times is 108, 18, 7 times is 126, 18, 8 times is 144 and so on. We can find more and write. So, what are the first three common multiples? We can see that the first three, first common multiple is 36. Then the second multiple that is common to both these numbers is 72. And the third multiple which is common is 108. So, what are the common multiple, first three common multiples of 12 and 18? They are 36, 72 and 108. Now, question 5. Which of the following numbers are co-prime? There are pairs of numbers given and we have to check and find out which of the pairs are co-prime. So, first is 18 and 35. 
Let's quickly recollect what are co-prime numbers. The numbers which have only one as the common factor, they are known as the co-prime numbers. So for this, first we will write the factors of 18 and 35 and see what are the common factors. So the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18 and the factors of 35 are 1, 5, 7 and 35. So what are the common factors of these two numbers? They, it is only 1, isn't it? Only 1 is common factor of these two numbers. So these two numbers are co-prime numbers. B, 15 and 37. What are the factors of 15? The factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15 and 37 factors of 37 37 is a prime number so it has only two factors that is 1 and the number itself isn't it so what are the common factors of 15 and 37 we have only one common one as a common factor between these two numbers so 15 and 37 are co-prime numbers c 30 and 400 and 15. Now let us write the factors of 30. What are they? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15 and 30. And what are the factors of 415? They are 1, 5, 83 and 415. And can you see what are the fact, uh, common factors between these two numbers? They are 1 and 5. 1 and 5. So, since do, uh, these two numbers are the factors, common factors of both these numbers for 30 and 415, so this pair of numbers is not co-prime. These numbers 30 and 1, 415 are not co-primes because they uh, apart from 1 they also have 5 as the common factor. Now D 17 and 68. Now we know 17 is a uh, prime number. So we uh, have only two factors uh, as the factors of 17 that is 1 and 17. And what are the factors of 68? They are 1, 2, 4, 17, 34 and 68. And what are the common factors of these two numbers? There is only one uh, yes, they have, we have two factors which are common, they are 1 and 17. So, this, uh, these numbers 17 and 68 are not co-prime numbers. 216 and 215. Let us write the factors of 216. There are a lot of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 12, 18, 24, 27, 36, 54, 72, 108 and 216. These are all factors of 216. And what are the factors of 215? They are 1, 5, 43 and 215. So what are the common factors here between these two numbers? Only 1 is the common factor of these two numbers. So yes, these two numbers 216 and 215 are co-primes. Let us move on to the next question. Question 6, a number is divisible by both 5 and 12. By which other number will that number be always divisible? Children, we have learned the general rules of divisibility. And in those rules, we discuss this kind of problem or this, this example we learned there. So what is it? A number is divisible by both 5 and 12. By which other number, the num uh, this number can always be divisible. So let us see, how do we solve this? Factors of 5 are 1 and 5, alright? And what are the factors of 12? They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 
6 and 12. And what are the common factors of 5 and 12? It is only 1. What does that mean? It means that 5 and 12 are co-prime numbers. And what is the rule? If the two numbers that divide a um, number that since the common factor of the two numbers 5 and 12 is 1, so they are co-prime numbers. And according to the rule that we have learned about the uh, divisibility, uh, if the two co-primes uh, divide a number, then the number will also be divisible by the product of the co-prime numbers. So the two numbers 5 and 12 are co-primes, so their product that is 60, 5 multiplied by 12 is 60. 12 5 times 60 will also divide the number. So, the number will also be divisible by 60. Now, question 7, a number is divisible by 12. By what other number will that number be divisible? So, here also we apply the general rules of divisibility. Since the number is divisible by 12, so, the number will also be divisible by the factors of 12. What are the factors of 12? The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. So, if a number is divisible by 12, it will also be divisible by the factors, by its factors that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 other than 12. So, the number will also be divisible by these numbers those are factors of 12. Children with this problem we end this session. We will learn about the more topics in our coming session. Till then whatever problems which we did not do in this session of exercise 3.4 you can complete uh, you can solve those problems in your notebook. Bye.